Miley was born, she was born prematurely. She had um, a lot of different things going on with her. So she lives with a lot of conditions. Um, she has chronic lung disease and a tracheostomy, and that's among other things. Um, but as you can see, she's a very happy little lady. Despite all the medical stuff, but she does have quite a lot to live with. She's uncontrolled seizures, you were saying there. She can't walk, she can't talk, she's peg fed. So she's profoundly intellectually and, and physically disabled. Um, but she is a very happy young <laughs> lady, aren't you? The amazing gift that we've been given by Make-A-Wish. It's just another like place that she can be and it's amazing. It's amazing, unbelievable, life-changing for us. Her wish was a sensory room, but actually it's way more than a sensory room. It's a playroom and, and it's a safe playroom and it's, it's fun and it's every Like she's very um, <laughs> mischievous, fun and a lot like most of the six-year-olds. And so for a place that is tailored so that she can be that six-year-old, that is mischievous, that is fun-loving, that is a little bit wild sometimes, Oh, the wish process was wonderful. It was very joyful um, the whole way through. It was very through. joyful. Yeah, it was yeah. so exciting. Because, you know, the way, as in, we met Louise, our wish granter, um, and she had lots of ideas that we hadn't even thought of as well, which was just brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Because we didn't, we didn't really know. We didn't know we how didn't good they could be. I mean, if it, if it was in accordance to what we said, it would have been just. Yeah, we, we didn't know. <laughs> at all. So Louise was able to tell us all about it and all the things that we could get. The independence it kind of gives her is decision making process. So there are different toys and again Louise was the one that said put it in different areas because then she can make decisions and make, you know, kind of decide where she wants to go. And again that didn't cross her mind and it's amazing to see her. She's sitting at one toy and deciding will I go across to the other one and then makes her way, <laughs> makes her way across. And actually, she's only crawling this year. Yeah, and so it's really helping the crawling, the movement, the decision making, and her independence because we sit up and she's actually now pointing down to the ground saying, will you, will you let me down? I want to get down, I want to get down. And that's her asking and it's a, these are processes that are only coming now and they're only new. But then it had a whole load of other things that other benefits, the other motivation, benefits, the motivation, physio, physio. decision making, communication, communication. That's now. it. What do you do? This is how she does. She does it. She's <laughs> yeah. like, I'll have that. I want something, don't you? That's you how you do. tell us you want something. It is. So yeah, it's been life changing. <laughs>